Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This video is something that a lot of you guys have been waiting for because today I'm going to be showing you the free viewer barn that I've been building and how you can download it onto your world. I made this script before I even knew that this was going to happen, but sadly, due to the size of the structure and the property, I actually am not able to put it all in one schematic. So what I did is towards the end, I explained how I made everything so you guys can either recreate the exact property that I built using the schematics I provide. So I'm still going to be providing like the pastures, the garden, the barn, the arenas, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the trees. So instead of providing you guys with the entire property, I'm going to be giving you guys the schematics you need and then providing you with tutorials on how to get everything else. I'm so sorry that this happened the way it did, but I am glad it turned out this way because I just imagined the people with lower NPCs that couldn't really load this schematic in. So I feel like this is a much easier and probably safer alternative than what I had planned before. Let's get right into the video. You wrap me around your fingers and you stay. Welcome to the first and newest free viewer barn, the Emerald Springs property. This schematic setup has plenty to offer. Today's video, I will be giving a grand tour of the barn that I built and explaining the uses of each area and then offering a tutorial on how you can get your pixelated hands on this Minecraft property. If you like these types of videos and projects, I encourage you to show some love on my channel by liking this video and subscribing. It's not required to download this barn, but it would help me continue building these barns for free. The spring seasoned inspired schematic includes plenty to bring your Minecraft barn to life. Let's go over exactly what it has to offer. The first and only roof structure on this piece of land is the barn. This barn is one of my first successful barn designs so you can definitely change its appearance if you'd like. This barn has six stalls, the first two stalls on either side being seven by seven, and then the remaining four being seven by eight due to the front of the barn frame taking up an extra block. So either way, all stalls are perfectly sized for your swim horses. Then on the back side of your barn, you have two areas for feed and tack up. These are designed to be compact and sorted for your every need. When you exit the barn, you can continue down the path to the pastures. This path is windy, and the pastures are designed to fit the path and have plenty of room for two to three horses per pasture. I've left them empty so you can design them with a shelter or feeding station. Completely up to you. Continue down the path for the star destination of this property, the garden pond, or more of a river in this situation. This peaceful part of the schematic is meant to give you a place to sit with your horse, enjoy a book under a tree, or just relax with your horse grazing. Emerald Springs is all about a peaceful nature, so what is peaceful without a nice walk through a garden? This part of the property has connected paths that will bring you to the arenas on either side of your barn. These arenas are both the same size, but you're free to make them bigger if you need more space. I tested these out with my own personal swim horses, and they had plenty of room for jumps, or even a little dressage setup as well. Overall, this property can be enjoyed in single-player gameplay, or you can paste this world file into your own server. Since we mentioned a server, I wanted to take this moment to share with you an offer from Bisect Hosting. I recently became a partner for Bisect Hosting, which is the hosting service I use for my Minecraft server. I can't suggest this option enough for someone who wants a server for their friends, their own business, or just a private building server. They have affordable options, plenty of ways to manage your server, and they also have a heap of videos to walk you through different topics that a lot of people are easily confused on. Click the link in the description that I've placed or put the code just peachy with checkout to receive 25% off your first month. Not only does this give you a big discount, but it also gives some back to me as well. This is a good alternative for Eternos or free hosting services that aren't your cup of tea. This barn may be the perfect little property for you and your friends to enjoy on a personal world as well. As I explained earlier in the video, this will be downloaded in parts of schematics. Due to the size of this property, it's impossible to have you all paste it in one schematic and it will corrupt your world edit. So I'm giving you all of the resources to make your very own build using the schematics of each build. I will also show you how I achieved the trees surrounding the property, the path palette, 
and how I piece the property together. Let's get started with the download. First, you will need my mod pack to have this in your world. Major mods I used are SWDM, SWLM, SWEM, and supplementaries, but there are other mods that are included that you'll need my mod pack for. Here are a list of mods you can remove from your folder if you're playing on a low-end PC from the mod pack safely without crashing your Minecraft. Go to the Planet Minecraft listing in the description and download the schematic. This will require world edit, which is included in my mod pack in the description. After downloading the file, locate your Minecraft file and find the config. Click World Edit, then place the file you downloaded in there. Then once in game, do slash slash schematic load and the name of the file. Then you will see this message that says the schematic has been loaded and it's waiting for you to paste. Find an appropriate area and slash slash paste and then it'll be pasted. All of my schematics can be pasted in the air safely so that the blocks won't drop. So if you want to paste it in the air first, then rotate it to place it on your property, it is completely up to you. If you need any help with the world edit, I suggest looking up Reddit posts or YouTube videos to help as there are tons on the internet. Hi guys, editing this at 3am, so this is just a quick add-in. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the paths done. Um, this is just the command and collection of items, and I just take a sword and hold it while I'm doing this command and then just right click after the command to apply the blocks. Very easy, very simple and you can just unbind it by doing slash slash bind or just deleting it from your inventory. And all you need to do for the trees is plant your tree of choice. I was using the large oak and you can either plant these manually which I do suggest for very specific areas but I've been using the forest command on world edit and then you just replace the oak trees with the variant five six and seven of the acacia and that's all i do for the trees you can also add the trapdoors of the different variants to add like texture to the trees but it's completely up to you okay i'm tired goodbye this property was created for all of you though there are some limitations that i have left on the planet minecraft page and i've also left a signed minecraft book in the barn for you guys to read those over as well these aren't suggestions, they're rules you must follow when downloading any of my builds. So please follow these and you should be fine to continue using the barn. I am excited to make more free viewer barns for you all, so leave some ideas in the comments of what you want for my next idea, and I will be making it soon. Thank you guys so much for your support on this journey of making a free viewer barn. I am so excited to be making some more barns for everyone. Currently, I am working on a member-only barn, so my members will be the only ones who have access to this barn. I have also been having member-only streams where I show the making of the barn and you guys help me suggest everything. It's been actually amazing. Also, leave some love on my Planet Minecraft because I'm brand new to Planet Minecraft. I am a Planet Minecraft baby. I have no idea what I'm doing, so some love would greatly be appreciated. This is part of the rules, so you guys will see this on the Planet Minecraft page anyways, but if you guys do use this build, make sure to credit me, no matter if you change the build up a little bit. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, stay healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next video or stream. You wrap me around your fingers and you stay I don't ever wanna be alone again In spite of all your my best friend